I noticed one day that there was a big starving looking dog just kind of poking his head out of the woods. People have a tendency to dump dogs out where we live. What is he doing? He's scared to death. Well, since I can't get him to come up to me, I'm bringing food. Come on, sweetie. Let's go. We can do it. That's a good boy. Good boy. Aww. Good boy. I tried to catch him. I tried and tried. He was an abused dog. He was so afraid that he just would disappear. Scooby! We're just praying. What is he doing? Where is he sleeping? Scooby! Finally warmed up. Scooby! And so then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you hear it. Such a good boy. Such a good boy. Then I noticed that he started getting a little bit closer. Amazing, Marlon. This is an amazing breakthrough, I can tell you. What is it, bud? What are you doing? Come on. Let's go get a snack. It's like he adopted us at that point. He's small me now. That process went on and on, got closer and closer. When he finally warmed up and started coming up to the pool, that was late summer. Then he started staying a little bit closer to the house. Scooby! What are you doing? Greeted when we come home. He's still skittish even when he starts feeling safe. And then one day I just let Samson, our dog, out and they were just immediately friends. He's so excited. Oh. Well, Scooby, you can do it. Good boy. See, he trusts his friend. <laughs> That's a good boy, Scooby. Look who came in the house today. I can't believe he's in the house, though, can you? It's no. No. I mean, he wouldn't even come near us for a year. <laughs> First time at the stairs. Look at you go. Look at there. Come here. What a good boy. We made it to the vet. <laughs> hey, baby. It's a big I think he's probably about a year and a half old. Um, his teeth are really good. He's in really good health. I think that the fact that he has people that love him makes him feel at home and safe. You look like you belong with him. He does. See, I do belong. Yeah. I got the Scooby-Dooby Blue